Hello again, I'm George Flew, and I want to welcome you to another in this series of videos demonstrating how you, utilizing plain vanilla AutoCAD in the simple but powerful 3D toolbox, can take advantage of the power of 3D substation design. To summarize, the 3D toolbox contains over 600 AutoCAD drawing blocks, including switches, connectors, structures, etc., as well as numerous apps written in Microsoft VBA and AutoCAD AutoLisp. In this video, I will not be demonstrating the toolbox as much as I'll be showing you how the final drawings are put together into a drawing package. So you see here we have our, our 3D substation design that we've been using in all of our videos. And uh, now what we want to do is create all of the elevation views and all the various plan views that we need to make up a complete package. And you'll note down here on this bottom line that there uh, are a number of tabs including elevation tabs, foundation tabs, a plan tab. So this is how we're going to create these various drawings utilizing what AutoCAD refers to as layouts. So each one of these is a layout and you can add more layouts by uh, clicking over here on this uh, add new layout button. We'll, uh, we'll demonstrate that uh, here in just a bit. So let's first let's look at this one I've, t I've termed the overview. So what you have is a piece of paper here. In this case, uh, I've got this set up for an 11 by 17 uh, B size uh, drawing uh, paper. And on that paper, you can see I've got uh, this uh, a block, which is the title block. And then the rest of this, uh, as I, I can click on it, and you can see I'm getting nothing. And that's because this all of this exists inside of a, uh, a view into the model space. Now going down here at the bottom, you notice this, this shows paper space, and it says we can choose either paper or model space. And if I click on that, it will put us in, back into model space, and you see this is, is highlighted this uh, viewport that I have into the model space. If I go in here and make any changes in here, then, then that will reflect back in our model drawing. Uh, now, if I, you know, if I just zoom or something like that, it's no effect. But if I, if I start erasing things or such, I'm actually working back in our model space, and that's, that's the the basis behind paper space. Is paper space gives you a place where you can create views into your model. So that's what we're going to be doing here. So in this one, all I've done is is I've gone in here and 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 made this nice orthogonal view. So uh, let's put that back in paper space. So here's our, this is this is our, our plan view. So you can see we're looking right down on top of it. And again, we're in paper space. So I've got my title block. And, and so with that, I, I need to make a few little modifications in the paper space. I don't want to change the drawing. I just need to turn on some layers that I want to appear in, inside this uh, uh, this viewport. So let's go into our model space so that we're now inside our model space. Now if we go over here and make changes in our layering, what we want to do is make sure the layers we want to view are both on in the drawing in, in, the, in the model space and then they're also set to be on in the viewport and that's and that is uh, controlled by this VP freeze uh, column here. All I really want to turn on are the uh, the dim one in, uh, in in this viewport. And uh, so you'll notice here as we go back and look at, I have a number of uh, layers that are frozen in this viewport, and uh, uh, so that I can display only the dimensions. Okay, with that, we'll uh, let's let's look at our elevation view. These have no view into the model space. If you remember, we used our section uh, tool to create. Let's go back over to our model space when we when we open that. We used it to create these these sections into our in our drawing, and then from there we were able to that to output those uh, sections to file. And then using the insert, we brought them back in. So, uh, this, so if we go back over here, then this uh, this elevation is in fact uh, an XREF, an external reference. 
and so it's we're not viewing these in in uh, in in a viewport. Uh, they're they're brought in and then they're scaled appropriately. But we do have to come in, and this time we want to turn on uh, layers that are in the paper space. So we need to be in paper space as we are. And I, I was, at this point, I want to turn on this uh, dimension uh, layer, and uh, and it, as you can see, it's not frozen. Uh, for this viewport, so so there our dimensions are, and so if you notice here, then we we've got our all of our other elevations that we defined, and since dimension is now turned on for the for the model space, then it will be turned on for all of these. So moving on down, the next one we want to that I want to show is a grounding plan, and again we'll go back into model space, and you, again you see we're inside a viewport, and uh, well, uh, what we have in this one, the only thing we really have turned on, you can see almost everything is turned off. The only thing we have turned on is this footing layer. Uh, now we want to actually show the conductor, so we'll go down here to our uh, X, X, uh, uh, X round 2 alt and X round 500. And you notice they're both turned on, but again, we've got them turned off in the drawing, so we need to turn them back on. And at that point, we have our all right, so we have our grounding uh, plan drawn here. This is not really complete. There needs to be some connectors and some other uh, minor details added to it. Well, one thing we probably want to show here is uh, is <laughs> is to demonstrate here what we're doing. So we, let's go down here to our let's turn on our fence layer here, and uh, the fence doesn't show up very well. You can see here the the gate. And the gate over here. So this is our external fence ground. Uh, that's which is we put in as, as two alt copper. So let's move on to our cable and conduit. And here again, we've got a, a just a plain drawing where we have the footings turned on. So let's go into our model space, and in this one, we want to turn on our uh, X conduit. What can I? There you go. Uh, so these, and again, this is uh, this drawing is, is li lacks a lot of detail to, to complete it, uh, such as you know indicating what's in the con, how big the conduits, how many, how big, uh, the wires that are in them, etc. But uh, uh, I mean, there also needs to be some to come out for the lighting and some other items. Uh, but again, this is just for demonstration purposes. So if there's our grounding. I mean, our cable and conduit. Now the foundation itself is uh, uh, we only want to see the foundation and we need to see some uh, some dimensions. Now these the foundations also should be labeled so we know what type of foundation they are. And let me just go into our model space because I want to also go ahead and turn on our uh, uh, our overall dimensions uh, uh, here so that we see uh, those dimensions also. Now beyond that I've, uh, I've also created a, a page of details. So you notice here these are grounding details. I've got some for structure grounding. Uh, here's one for, for grounding a, a switch operating handle, your fence, etc. Again these these are just some typical uh, details and then I've included one of the bill of material and uh, again, this is all in paper space, and I've inserted uh, the, uh, uh, the the spreadsheet from the bill of material program, so that when you go back and look at the elevations and the uh, uh, the bubbles, you've got a, something to refer back to here. So we have all of our our various drawing uh, elevations and plans, but in order to make a package, we need one more thing. We need a cover sheet. So I'm going to click here to create a new layout, and by default it's named layout, and I'm going to double click on it, uh, and that will allow me to change the name. I'm going to change it to cover, and then I'll go up here into the paper space, and the first thing I want to do is, anytime it creates a, a, new, uh, a new layout, it always creates one view, and then does a zoom uh, extents on your window. 
on your drawing. And you can see here now we're looking back into our model space and all those layers we turned on are all on at one time. It's okay. We don't we don't want that, so we will just delete the view. We've only deleted the view, not the drawing. And uh, then I need to come in here and set my uh, page setup. And I've, I've got a page setup that I've defined called PDF HQ. And if we go over here and we'll just do a modify to look at it. It uses the AutoCAD uh, high quality print driver, PDF print driver, and sets it to 11 by 17. And full bleed means it will print to the edge. Uh, I have a border on, on this, so it, it never will actually get to the edge, but I don't want it to shrink down the drawing to fit it inside the printable area. So I make the entire sheet the printable area. And then all these others, uh, you just uh, set as you as you as you need. But normally you want to do extents and one to one scale on these. And I say OK and uh, close. And I've got this nice blank looking uh, white sheet of 11 by 17 paper. First thing I want to do is uh, put in a uh, some type of a border, and uh, I'm going to use a uh, a little app that I wrote many many years ago, P Box, to draw a, a polyline box uh, on here as a border, and uh, leave a little extra over here on the left for our uh, for, for our margin. Uh, obviously. Uh, what I wound up here is something that's four inches wide on on the eleven inch piece of paper, so I'm going to change that to uh, I believe two tenths is about what we want to do, uh, and uh, and then the other thing I wanted to do is I have a layer here called cover sheet, and I want to want to put that on the cover sheet layer, so let's go move that to the cover sheet layer, and let's go ahead and make that our our current layer, so I won't do that again. Uh, that's still a little too thick. Let's go to one tenth of an inch. And then the next thing I want to do is come in here and do a fillet uh, with a radius of uh, one inch. Been been eleven inch. One inch is is fine. And I'll tell it there's a, there's a poly uh, poly line. And uh, so there I have a border. Uh, again, another command that that I that I wrote many years ago. Uh, rule that's rule X rule Y which draws a line in the in the Y axis at whatever point I hit and I want to put it at the midpoint of this so I get get me a nice line that it splits this this border fine uh, let's add a title so uh, we'll just do some simple text uh, and uh, we drew the line so that we can put this centered up on in the side the title block and uh, uh, let's make the height of this point uh, six and uh, let's go with uh, angle zero and we will just call this uh, sum uh, let's go back and make it all caps sum utility company and then we're going to do another one just below it, uh, we'll, this time we'll make it a 0 0.5, a little bit smaller. And this will be the, the title of the project, which is a new, oh, excuse me, angle zero, new 161 kV substation. Nah, maybe we should have swapped the, those two and put the project title at the top, but that's okay. Now every project needs a uh, uh, a location map, so I'm going to go over here to my uh, 3D utility and go to our contact sheet, and uh, we'll just open up this this map right here, and uh, we'll just zoom in until we get us something suitable for a location map. Uh, I want it to give a few major roads and uh, and of course here's our project uh, so this looks good I'm going to use our uh, uh, snipping tool here and I'm going to tell it new and I'm just going to pick something nice uh, kind of rectangular or uh, yes nice rectangular uh, area and then we will copy that out 
go over here to our AutoCAD drawing and we'll control V to insert that uh, I'm going to put it right here and then we'll just uh, take off our ortho we'll shrink it down till it's inside our our box and uh, uh, yeah, place it here somewhere on this side um, now if we want to you know if we want to really be snazzy we'll go back out here and we'll zoom out so you can see a good bit of Knoxville and we'll do a new one and we will take this area here uh, and once again we'll, we'll we'll copy if I can find my cursor we'll copy it go back drop it in and uh, we'll just put it down here in the corner okay so here it is uh, it's a little large pull it down here where you can want to be able to read the read the, that information so we know it's over here in this eastern part of Knoxville and then we can come out here and say that we see that we get off here on uh, uh, I-40 and uh, and Highway 11E and come back down this little road uh, let's put us a, a a frame around that so again we'll just use good, uh, our, our p-box command well first off let me do a, res what a, a reset this is another one of those commands it will it'll actually grab all the information off of this including its width so if we do a p-box we won't get some big big funny thing that's large uh, though we could set this down if we wanted to and instead of 0.2 we do 0.05 and uh, make it just a little bit thinner needs a title so text C put it to mid you know, we don't want 0 0.5 let's put 0 0.25 and we'll, we'll just location map and then we'll just click on it and select it and then we'll use the AutoCAD nudge hold down control and hit the up arrow a few times and nudge it up a little bit so they'll remain centered up there uh, we also need some kind of a utility name down here so let's just go with uh, text again uh, we'll, we'll center it uh, here on this on the line and uh, we'll leave it at, at quarter inch and we will say uh, again oops zero and we'll say the 3D utility co company one two three Main Street Knoxville Tennessee three seven nine one four and uh, uh, just for the something different we'll go over here and change it from Aerial Bold just plain aerial now we need one other thing we need a drawing list and uh, as you might guess I have created an app for that it's called of all things drawing list it's a auto lisp app it, it will go out and find all of those title block blocks and it will grab the title and the number out of them and bring it in here and we just say where do we want to drop it and here we get a drawing list of all of our drawings now just to tidy this up a little bit this is centered inside the box well let's make the box unfortunately that's not can, if that can be done I haven't been able to do it yet uh, what did I do here let's try and do that again why is it oh I probably have let's turn snap off Okay, and that, that will center that up. And then the last thing I want to do is go set it on this line here with the description. And let's add a add a, 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 a tab stop out there, which will bring that, will cause that line. It's looking for a tab stop. And so it'll bring that line out there to the end and uh, make it look a little cleaner. And we might want to make another P-Box. Let's just use our reset again to make sure we get the same size of that and P box and if we want to try to line these up 
we could do something like uh, good. Show it again. Why am I losing? Okay, I kept losing that. Do a move. We could just move it over here. Zoom in a little bit. And again, using our nudge, we can nudge it down a little bit to where it lines up. Uh, that will probably work. I don't think you'll notice it. Uh, if you're not familiar with nudge, nudge is based on a on a percentage of the view that you're in. So if you if you zoom in, uh, you can get real fine. Uh, if I zoom in a whole lot, I get real fine movement here. Uh, so I can maybe line it up with. Uh, if I zoom out, when I want to move back, it uh, it jumps larger. So I'm just going to move this back over here. I could grab it and drug it, but uh, that works just fine. And uh, to me, I think we've got that finished. Uh, as a Oh, let me do one other thing. I'm going I'm to come down here and just put a little line down in this corner. If I don't, it will... Uh, uh, it will it will try to, uh, to to move this this will, this kind of will, will kind of ground it down in that corner when we make our drawing so the last thing so we've got that done let's save it it's always a good idea and then the last thing we want to do now is to uh, well the next to the last thing let's, I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab this one and I'm gonna I'm gonna pull it back over here in front of the overview. You know, you'll see in a while here in just a few seconds. So these these are all in the correct order. So now I want to create a web. Well, let's uh, get rid of this line here. I want to create a PDF file of this that I can either mail out or I can print from. However, I want to do that. So let's go up here to the publish uh, command. And with publish, it will it will by default pull up everything you you. Uh, uh, you, you, all of the drawings you have open. Uh, so if you got other drawings open, you may want to close them. Though you can come down here and and delete them out. And so it gives you a list. The list is in order that they are down here. We do not want to plot the model space, so we're going to remove that. These others are in in the order we want to print them. Uh, you can actually put these sheets together from different drawings, and you can save that under a under a, a, a drawing sheet file that you can pull up but as long as you're just plotting out of this single drawing uh, it's easier than, than, than saving it uh, to just pull them up and then eliminate the model space and then plot. Let's go look right quick at the options we have over here this is a location I'm going to a PDF folder that's underneath my project which is off my desktop uh, the name of the folder, I mean, excuse me, the name of the PDF file here. You can make it whatever you wish, of course. Uh, decide what you want to do here, if anything. Uh, I would suggest you use lines overwrite. Otherwise, they kind of merge together and they look funny. Um, and then the other thing you want to look at here is these three here. If you have a plot stamp, this is the time to, to say to do that. Uh, publish in the background will allow you to go ahead and work while it's doing all the publishing and printing in the background. And then open and viewer uh, when done will open it uh, after it gets through publishing. Now, if you publish in background, it won't do that. In this instance, we're going to not we're not going to publish in background, so we can just we can see it as it goes, and we're going to just say open it when we get through, so we can see the result. So now I'll just click publish. And I already have a file out there by that name. Yes, we just want to overwrite it. And it asked me if I want to save this list of uh, uh, sheets uh, for future use. You can do that. It's really just a simple not to because if you make any modifications, if you add or delete sheets, then that list of sheets will no longer be any good anyway. It's easy enough just to bring it up, delete the model space, and keep going. So let's say no. And now it's going out and it will work its way through all of the uh, individual layout sheets and uh, plot them through the PDF driver to the, uh, to the file. And it's just a matter of waiting it out.
And so here's our Acrobat PDF reader open. And so here you see, uh, here's our cover sheet. And it's one of 13. And we can easily just walk through here and look. Here's our overview, fan view, elevation A, B, C, D, E, uh, our, our grounding plan, cable and conduit plan, our foundation plan, our grounding details, and then our bill of materials. And so uh, it's, it's made us a nice package, a PDF package that's suitable for emailing or for printing uh, at a later time. And uh, so let's just go back here and uh, kind of do a quick recap. In our model space, we generated all of our various layers of information and then we went through our our layouts and paper space and, and where necessary created view viewports into our model space and using the viewport freeze uh, column on on our uh, layer manager uh, you, I'm sorry you don't see the viewport freeze when you're in, uh, in model space we have controlled which layers were displayed in that viewport and then using the uh, the publish function, uh, we have published uh, all the drawings out to a single PDF file. So with that, uh, we're done on this one. If you have any questions uh, uh, or any comments, you can always go to uh, the, let's just show that for once. Go here to the 3D utility. Come up here, you'll see an upper right-hand corner contact. Come over here, you can then uh, enter your information here your comments your question and hit hit submit and uh and with that until uh, uh until we come up with another video uh that's all for today thank you bye